cancer. How many times have you heard this word? How many people do you know who have suffered from this horrible disease? Studies show that by the end of 2030, the third of the entire world population will have suffered from cancer. While there are technological advancements today that are helping curing cancer, um, such as surgery, chemo, or radiotherapy, most of these are either invasive, cause grave side effects to patients, or cause damages to healthy tissues. Now, a novel technique called proton therapy is the potentially best attempt yet at curing cancer because it allows full destruction of the cancerous tissue while sparing the surrounding healthy tissue. But what is this miraculous technique? Well, it's a type of external radiation therapy that uses protons, high energy protons, to interact with the body and deposit their maximum energy at a very specific narrow location inside the body. Now, it's very important to note that because proton therapy offers such precise way of targeting tumorous tissue, um, not missing the target is of utmost importance. Simply put, miss the target and you'll severely damage the healthy tissue. So how can we achieve such precision in treatment? Well, we need to see what we treat in real time. To that end, medical imaging such as MRI may be used because it provides images of high resolution and uses no radiation to produce them. However, MRI may also cause local hotspots in the body that may lead to body burns, especially if patient moves. Therefore, safety modeling is very important as it governs the whole way MRI is done. Unfortunately, most of the conventional computation techniques take days to examine a single model, leading to overconservative restrictions. This is what my current research is all about. We're investigating safety framework at ultra high field MRI so that we can alleviate these restrictions and then integrate the framework in wider areas. Together with our collaborators from MIT, we've developed a safety assessment tool that is more than 3,000 times faster than state of the art. We were able to analyze local hotspots dependence on patient motion in one single day. In comparison, it took eight months for a similar study to be developed by uh, people at Cardiff to produce the results of similar scope. That's how powerful our method is. Now we are using deep learning techniques to analyze the data further. Our aim is to propose a statistically viable framework that will allow determination of the best individualized conditions for patient safety in a very quick way. This would move us then one step closer to imaging in real time. And I would like to combine such framework with proton therapy accelerator design to finally develop a safe and robust MRI guided proton therapy facility, something I started working on a couple of years ago at CERN actually. Throughout those times, the South European initiative was, Southeast European initiative was formed with the name to combine the countries in the region, including Bosnia and Herzegovina, to develop the first and only proton therapy facility in our region in partnership with CERN. The initial foundations have been made, and I strongly believe the methods we are working on currently would be highly beneficial to the developments of the facility and would eventually help curing cancer. Thank you very much.